Hey guys, welcome out to the workshop today. As you can see, I've got my bookcase in the back just standing still right now. It's a little bit too cold outside to be trying to glue anything up. So I've got a couple of orders of holdfasts I need to forge out this week. And I really want to start using that little anvil that I got for rounding over the tops of the holdfasts. After disassembling all of my workbench, I have all sorts of 2x6s and 2x10s that I have just sitting around. I was going to use them for the French cleat on the wall, but instead I think I'm going to use them and make an anvil stand. Well, there you have it here is my little anvil stand if i do get a bigger anvil i can add on either way and really expand this thing into a big block one thing that i really want to do is try to come up with some kind of holders for uh, hammers and things like that just little side pieces that i want to keep close by this one's going to be staying inside the shop but it is light enough that if i do need to move it outside i can go ahead and just pick it right up and take it outside next to the forge. Hopefully soon I'll be building a gas forge though that I can actually keep in here in the shop and just mainly do everything in here, not have to worry about the forge outside too much unless I get bigger products. So thanks for joining me today. I had an awesome time building this and it was really simple to make, just cutting up some two by sixes, checking my height to see what I needed to do and then subtracting the height off of the anvil and constructing it up with some pocket hole screws and then screwing everything in a laminate design together. This one came from my old workbench, so it's got a lot of wear and tear on it already with some marks and things like that. And I really like the way it looks. It doesn't look fresh and brand new. It looks old and just kind of beat up a little bit. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and share it around on all the social media. Leave comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have other designs of tool holders and things like that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.